Section 1. Why are intros so darn important anyway? Ever clicked on a YouTube video only to leave seconds later because it bored you to tears? We've all been there. It's frustrating, right? You were looking for something interesting, but the video just didn't deliver from the get-go. Intros are your first impression, your chance to grab viewers by the eyeballs and scream, this is worth your time. It's like the opening line of a book or the first scene of a movie. It sets the tone and tells the viewer, hey, stick around, there's good stuff coming. A killer intro can be the difference between a viral sensation and a video lost in the abyss. Think about it. Those first few seconds can make or break your video's success. It's the hook that keeps viewers from scrolling away. So, how important are intros? Let's dive deeper. They're not just important, they're essential. Without a compelling intro, your content might never get the chance it deserves. It's like trying to sell a house with an uninviting front door. They set the stage, build anticipation, and tell viewers what they're in for. A good intro teases the content, giving just enough to make viewers curious and eager to see more. Without a strong intro, you risk losing your audience before they even give your content a chance. It's like a movie trailer that fails to excite. Viewers just move on to the next option. Want to keep viewers hooked? Of course you do. Craft intros that are as captivating as the content they introduce. Make them count. Use dynamic visuals, intriguing questions, or a compelling story to draw viewers in. Think about your favorite YouTube videos. What grabs your attention right from the start? It's usually something unique, exciting, or visually appealing. Share your thoughts in the comments. What makes an intro stand out to you? Let's discuss and learn from each other. Section 2. What's the magic formula to keep viewers hooked? The secret sauce to a captivating intro. It's all about understanding your audience and giving them what they crave. Think about what would make you click that watch button and keep watching. Start by identifying your target audience. What are their interests? What kind of content do they consume regularly? What problems do they face that your video can solve? Once you know who you're talking to, you can tailor your intro to resonate with them. Crafting an engaging intro is like setting the stage for a great story. You need to hook them right from the start. Remember, you have mere seconds to make an impact. So, cut to the chase, pique their interest, and leave them wanting more. Think about your own viewing habits. What type of intros instantly grab your attention? Is it a surprising fact, a compelling question, or a bold statement? Experiment with different techniques and see what works best for your audience. Engage them emotionally, make them curious, and most importantly, deliver on the promise you make in your intro. Think about your own viewing habits. What type of intros instantly grab your attention? What type of intros instantly grab your attention? Is it a surprising fact, a compelling question, or a bold statement? Let's discuss in the comments. Share your thoughts and experiences. What works for you? What doesn't? Let's learn from each other and keep our viewers hooked. Section 3. How can I make my intro stand out from the crowd? Let's face it, the YouTube Osphere is a crowded place. To stand out, your intros need to be more than just an afterthought. They need to be mini masterpieces. Think outside the box. Don't be afraid to experiment with different styles, visuals, and sounds. How can you introduce your video's theme in a way that's unexpected and attention-grabbing? Remember, your intro is a promise to your viewers. It's a promise of value, entertainment, or enlightenment. Make sure you deliver. What are some of the most creative YouTube intros you've seen? Share your favorites in the comments. Section four. Got any real world examples of intros that really work? Let's get inspired. One YouTuber known for their engaging intros is Casey Neistat. His intros are like mini movies with fast paced editing, compelling music, and a sense of adventure that immediately draws you in. Another great example is Mark e. Brownlee, MKBHD. His intros are sleek, stylish, and instantly recognizable thanks to his signature intro sequence and music. What these YouTubers have in common is that their intros are authentic to their brands and create a sense of anticipation for the content to come. What other YouTubers do you think have nailed the art of the intro? Let's discuss in the comments. 
Section 5. How long should my intro be? Ah, the eternal question. How long is too long? The ideal intro length is like a unicorn. Magical, but elusive. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but as a general rule of thumb, keep it short and sweet. Aim for 5 to 10 seconds for most videos. If you have a complex topic or a longer video, you might be able to stretch it to 15 seconds. But remember, every second counts. Don't waste precious time with unnecessary fluff. Get to the point and leave viewers wanting more. What's your sweet spot for intro length? Share your thoughts in the comments. Section 6. What about music and sound effects? Music and sound effects can be the secret source that elevates your intros from good to unforgettable. The right track can set the mood, build excitement and make your content more engaging. Choose music that's relevant to your brand and the tone of your video. Upbeat and energetic for a vlog or something more cinematic for a travel video. You got it, but remember, copyright laws are a thing. Use royalty-free music or make sure you have the rights to use the tunes you choose. What are some of your favorite royalty-free music resources? Share them in the comments. Section 7. Can I use humor in my intros? A little laughter can go a long way. Humor is a fantastic way to connect with your audience, make them feel at ease and leave them wanting more. A well-placed joke, a funny anecdote or even just a silly voiceover can make your intro more memorable. But remember, humor is subjective. Make sure your jokes land with your target audience and align with your brand's voice. Have you seen any YouTube intros that made you laugh out loud? Share them in the comments. Section 8. Should I tease what's coming up in the video? Absolutely! Think of your intro as a movie trailer. You want to give viewers a glimpse of the good stuff to come without giving away the whole plot. Highlight the key takeaways, the most exciting moments, or the problems your video will solve. Keep it concise and intriguing, leaving viewers eager to hit that play button. What are some creative ways to tease upcoming content in your intros? Let's brainstorm in the comments. Section 9. Any other secret source to make my intros pop? The best intros are more than just introductions. They're an art form. Here are a few more tips to make yours stand out. 1. Keep it visually appealing. Use high-quality footage, eye-catching graphics, and a consistent style that aligns with your brand. 2. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try different editing techniques, pacing, and visual effects to find what works best for you. 3. Most importantly, be yourself. Let your personality shine through and connect with your audience authentically. What other tips do you have for creating amazing intros? Share your wisdom in the comments. Section 10. Help me out. Give me some actionable tips. Ready to take your intros from meh to marvelous? Let's dive into some practical advice that you can start using right away. Here are some actionable tips to get you started. These will help you create intros that not only grab attention, but also keep your audience engaged. 1. Start with a bang. This means you need to make a strong first impression. Grab attention from the first frame with a captivating visual, a provocative question or a surprising statement. Think of something that will make your viewers sit up and take notice. 2. Keep it concise. Get to the point quickly and don't waste time with unnecessary fluff. Your audience's time is valuable, so make every second count. 3. End with a hook. This is crucial for maintaining interest. Leave viewers wanting more by teasing what's to come or asking a question that encourages them to keep watching. This will make them eager to see what happens next. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you experiment with different intro styles, the better you'll become at crafting ones that captivate your audience. Don't be afraid to try new things and see what works best for you. What intro techniques are you excited to try out?